of praying at midnight. Midnight prayers is good. It's exciting. I enjoy praying at midnight. But it is important for us to know as believers that prayer uh, can be offered to God at any time, at any point. Uh, someone asked me a question at some point and said, um, what do you think of midnight prayers? And I said, I think midnight prayers is equally as as good as the morning prayers and afternoon prayers and midnight and uh, evening prayers. But what I don't subscribe to is that there is nothing special about praying at midnight, 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 3 a.m. And the reason is because God listens to us at all times. I mean, some people think that or believe that midnight is when there are demonic activities and all that. But I beg to differ because there are different time zones in this world. So when it is midnight at your end, which is, let's say, when it is midnight at uh, the UK or the US, somewhere in the world, it is not midnight. So does that mean the enemy is not operating in that part of the world? The enemy is definitely operating. But the reason why people pray at midnight is because it is the time where there is less noise and less activities. Therefore, it enhances full concentration. You're able to focus on what you're praying for. It enhances meditation. And so that is the only advantage that um, midnight prayer has over any other time in prayer, uh, timings for prayer. Now, having said that, someone also asked me, then what do you think of Psalm 63, where the Bible says, Psalm 63, the Bible says, David said, early will I seek you, O, o God. Now, I would like to state that in the Old Testament, they had different times. The Jewish had their prayer times. They prayed three times in a day, just as the Muslims pray, I think, five times in a day. The Jews prayed three times in the day. They prayed early mornings. They prayed in the afternoons and prayed in the evenings. And so when David said, early will I seek him, it is in context because culturally around that time, they, because Christianity had not yet begun, at that time, they were living by the laws of Moses and Judaism was the thing, was the norm of the day for them. Uh, but in our days, we are not practicing Judaism. We are Christians. And so the Bible says in the New Testament, I will paraphrase, where it says, men ought always to pray and not faint. It didn't say men ought to pray at midnight and not fail or faint. He said men ought always, always means all the time, all the time, any time at all. So any time you choose to pray to the Lord is equally important. As long as you can get maximum concentration and focus on what you're praying about. And so back to why David prayed that prayer was because at a, during this time, they had hours of prayer. So there were times where they would offer incense to the Lord as a, as a sign of prayer. But in the New Testament, God has abolished timings when it comes to prayer. Because we, the believer does not just live in time. The Bible says we are in this world, but we are not of the world. In other words, much as we live in this world, we are not spiritually bound by the laws of this world. We are actually driven by eternity. So we live in eternity. When you are born again, you begin to enjoy. A born again person is someone who is, has been translated from time into eternity. And so the believer is not time bound. The believer is eternity bound. Let me put it that way. The believer is eternity bound. And therefore, we pray from a place of eternity. We are seated in heavenly places with the Lord. And it doesn't matter when we pray to the Lord. The Lord listens. What makes our prayer special? What makes our prayer effective? It's not the timings we pray. What makes our prayer effective and special is because of the one through him, whom and by whom we pray. Jesus said, for when, whatever you ask of the Father in my name, it shall be granted unto you. Not at a specific time. You ask the Father in the name of Jesus. That is the reason why the Lord or God would answer our prayer. God answers our prayer because of the fact that we pray through a name, which is above every other name, which is Jesus' name. So in the New Testament, we pray all the time. It doesn't matter when we pray in the afternoon, pray in the morning pray at noon, I pray in the evenings, the Lord listens. We pray at all times. We don't have special times to pray to the Lord. But I would encourage us that we will understand that as believers, the seasons and the times that we pray. We have t seasons in life, but that is not, uh, has nothing to do with the times that we pray. And therefore, I would like to conclude and say, your prayer is effective in the afternoon. Prayer is effective in the morning. It is effective even in the evenings. And not just at midnight. The only advantage that midnight prayer has over probably the afternoon prayers is because there is less activity and therefore you have maximum concentration. 
the Lord bless you. And I pray that you would learn to pray to the Lord at all times, knowing that they are equally special to the Lord. The Lord bless you.